questions lately on how I do my makeup and what products I use and stuff so I thought I would make a video to show some of you guys I thought it would be helpful to some so I filmed this makeup look today so if you like it or you want to see how I do it then uh, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe like and comment okay guys and this will be a voiceover because I feel like it would be more beneficial to you guys for me to do a voiceover rather than just talking while I'm doing my makeup so that I could give you a few tips and tricks while I'm doing it I'm just going to start off by taking my Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, I got this at Sephora the other day and so far I'm really liking it. It just helps to give like a natural glowy kind of look to your foundation. I also really like the smell of this stuff. It smells like Starburst so I would recommend getting it. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is just gonna help eliminate my pores and get rid of the enlarged pores, make them not show as much. I'm just gonna put it on my T-zone area. After I have all that rubbed in, I'm just gonna go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 05A Natural Beige. I do recommend using a damp beauty blender just to get that more flawless foundation look. If you don't want a full coverage foundation look, you can just mix some argan oil in with your foundation. All you're going to need is a few drops. This also works well for pictures. If you have senior pictures or anything coming up, I do recommend this. I didn't use the oil today just because I was trying to go for a more full coverage foundation look. Now I'm just putting more foundation where I miss spots or I feel like I need to cover more. Now for my dark circles, I'm just going to take my Hard Candy Conceal and Correct palette and I'm going to take the yellow shade and just put it under my eyes and I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and just blend that in really well. This isn't a required step, but I really recommend if you have dark under eyes or if you're just waking up late and you look super tired. This is really just going to brighten your under eyes up. Now I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This did take me a while to get it out of the container for some reason, but once it finally came out, I just blended it with a wet beauty blender. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to rub everything out since a bunch of concealer did come out. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend everything out with a wet beauty blender until it's all nicely blended. Okay, so now for contour, I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Blend and just put it on my cheekbones with a brush and then put it on my forehead. I did end up going in with my Wet n Wild contour stick just because I didn't like the way that the CoverGirl stuff turned out. 
Now I'm just gonna take the wet beauty blender again and I'm just gonna blend that out very nicely. Okay, so now to set all that, I'm just going to go in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I'm going to take a beauty blender and dip it in the powder and then just put it on my face. You can add powder where you get oily throughout the day, like your forehead or your nose or your chin. So after I have all that blended, I'm going to go in with my Koki Powder Contour Palette. Okay guys, so I just realized that you can't read what I'm holding up because the video is flipped, so I apologize about that. So pretty much what all I'm doing is putting contour on my temples and then putting it on my cheekbones. So now I'm just going to go in with a lighter shade and set my under eye and set the rest of my face. Okay girls, so another trick that I have is to bake my eyebrows before I do them so that they don't get oily throughout the day. I find this really helpful because I used to have extremely oily eyebrows throughout the day and it would always make me so mad. So now I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Caramel and I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Brow Brush. I just start out by brushing my brows out to get them to the shape that I want. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take the brush and I'm going to start on the under part of my eyebrow, making the line very sharp. Now I'm going to go to the top part of my eyebrow and I'm just going to build my arch. Something I like to do is brush my brow hairs downward and just fill in my eyebrow. I feel like it gets a more clean look to it. So once I filled the end of my brow in, I'm going to go in and fill in the front part on the bottom first and then I'm going to make my way up to the top. I feel like it gives it a more natural look rather than just filling it all in at once. I'm going to brush it out so that it doesn't look so patchy and it looks more natural. Then just start by drawing the top part. Then I'm just going to fix up any areas that look like they need to be fixed. 
So I'm just going to brush that eyebrow out one more time and then I'm done for that eyebrow for now. So then I'm going to move on to the other one. I use the same steps on this side as I did the other side. I'm just going to start by doing the bottom first and then I'm going to build my arch at the top and then fill them in. So now to get a more cleaner look on my brows, I'm going to take a concealer brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to take the foundation that I used earlier and I'm just going to clean them up. So I definitely feel like I'm the only person that does this, but after I've cleaned them up, I go through and I redraw the ends. And then I'm going to take the darker orange color and I'm just going to put it in my crease again to make it a more defined color.
So after I have all that blended, I'm just going to go in with a lighter brown and I'm going to put it at the end of my eyelids. And just make sure to blend that really well. So now I'm going in with a darker brown just to give it a more dark look. Still making sure everything is blended nice and evenly. So I'm just going to do a semi cut crease. So I take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, it's a concealer, and I took my concealer brush and I'm just going to make a cut crease. I am going to say this takes a lot of time and patience. It took me a long time to get to do this. Um, so I wouldn't stress if it's your first time and you can't get it because I was totally in your spot once and I totally feel you. So after I put the concealer down, I'm just going to go in with a light off-white color and I'm just going to put that in my inner corners. I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just blending the orange out. Then I'm going back in with a dark brown on both sides just to get it even.
So now I'm using a champagne color on the inner corners of my eyes where I put the off-white color at. I'm then gonna go in with a copper and a gold color. Once I'm happy with the way my eyeshadow looks, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes to put mascara on. I then lined my upper lash line with a Wet n Wild eyeliner. The mascara I'm using is the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. I really like this mascara because it does give my eyelashes the falsies look. So after the first coat, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes again and get them ready for the second coat of mascara. After putting mascara and everything on, I decided that I wanted to put eyeshadow on my bottom lash line, so I decided to go in with the light orange color and put it on the bottom. I then set all my makeup with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Then I take my Hard Candy Just Glow Baked Highlighting Trio and I take my highlighting brush and I just put it on my cheekbones and then I put it on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and then the arch of my eyebrows. For lipstick, I decided to use the Tarte Lip Paint and Birthday Suit. I always like to wipe the foundation off my lips before I put anything on them. I like to line my lips before I put anything on them.
Okay, so I guess I didn't have enough highlight, so I decided to put more on. I also decided that I wanted to wear fake eyelashes, so these are just my Kiss eyelashes. So now I put the glue on it and I'm just letting it dry for 30 seconds and then I put it on my eye. I've never seen anyone put them on the way I do. It's probably the most complicated way. You can use tweezers, but I just don't think it's easy, but that's just me. So now I'm just putting the others on. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something from my video or took something from it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.